Well, the state budget was not finalized until last week. It was due in June. But just in time for Christmas, a gift for working parents and grandparents. Dennis Owens reports from the Capitol. We have a care crisis. A child care crisis laid bare by a health care crisis. Parents leaving jobs to care for kids during the pandemic or essential workers making too much money to get state and federal aid. And they earn too little. Um, to afford their basic needs, so they fall right into that gap. But House Bill 1300 hopes to pull them out by providing tax credits for child care, before and after school care, even summer camps. If you make less than $43,000 with one child, you currently get a $315 state tax credit. Now, more than 1000 With two kids, you got 630 bucks. Now, $2,100. That's more than triple the benefit. Those making more than 43 grand would also see increases. I'm not a tax preparer, I'm not a tax expert, but here's what I do know. What I know is that more money in the pockets of Pennsylvanians is good for us, it's good for working families, it's good for the economy. And for working grandparents thrust into child rearing. I know a lot of them. A lot of my friends are actually raising their grandchildren for whatever reason. They need help. They want to do the best they can for their grandchildren. The program is estimated to cost $83 million this year, $124 million next year. Easy access to that cash is also a goal. All you do is file your state taxes like you normally would, and you're going to get a check from the state because of the expenses you incur with child care, summer camp, or uh, aftercare. This is what happens when Democrats continue to deliver for the people of Pennsylvania. While Democrats take credit, the bill passed 154 to 49 with overwhelming bipartisan support in the House. Senate Republicans and the governor also signed <laughs> off. Democrats control the House of Representatives. We got it done this time. We could have gotten it done in other terms, um, but we didn't. Unlike some tax credits that are delayed, this one will kick in when parents file their taxes early next year. At the state capitol, Dennis Owens, ABC 27 News.